There you are. Yeah, that's nice. Um, so um, this isn't anything. Um, nothing can be spoke about. Um, because there is nothing to tell. There is nobody to tell. There is nobody to speaking. There is only what is happening. And what is happening can't be understood, can't be known, just what is happening and not happening at the same time. There is nothing more than this. There is nothing to find and nothing need to be found. It's already constantly perfect, constantly whole and complete. And um, just that. And this whole thing is already free, already unconditional love. And so um, it, it just what is happening here is just what is happening. There is no purpose, there is no meaning, it's just what is happening. But um, um, as soon as me appears, in me is reality, me needs more. Me need to find something more than this. And me believes there is more than this because it's all come from sense of self. I am somebody, I need more, I am living by my, my, with my effort. And that sense feels um, something missing, feels not quite right. So always looking for something else. So that is a seeking. So as soon as me appears, seeking appears. So me is a seeking. But um, uh, me and me is looking for own happiness. But the reason for looking for happiness, because it's not me wants money, not because of me wants to have love. Of course, me believes that me feels that. But actually, that moment of me got something what me wanted, it's seeking stops just just for the end of seeking, just the relaxation appears. Actually, me, is apparent, me stops. That moment is only needed for me, but me doesn't know that. So me believes something more in the next moment. My happiness is in the future. That's why me keep looking for something else than this. And also me, feels something not quite right, whatever me does, something not quite right. So me is looking for the answer, me is looking for the reason, but actually there is no answer. Me can't find the answer, whatever me search, whatever me, how can I say, me read so many books, so, so many informations, but me can't find the answer because it's coming from a sense of self, come from separation. So me can't find the answer, whatever me find, it's me never satisfied. And so, um, so, but there is a dilemma for the me because this isn't understanding. Even me understand this, me can't stop because me is a seeking. Me is the energy of seeking. But actually, at the same time, me is not happening. Me is not happening like me feels. So um, already, there's already already free and already complete. Even me feels something missing. Actually, that's also um, freedom. But me, dilemma is me can't feel that. 
as soon as me feels, me has to find something to feel better. So um, this is totally and energetic. In a way, I'm not suggesting anything. It's just uh, what it is, just how it is. So, um, but something might resonate what's being said because there is only what's being said. There is only what is happening. And this happening is everything. There is nothing more. And this is already freedom. Whole thing is already unconditional love. But still, the question might appear, that's perfection. Wanting to know appears that also perfect, perfect, because that is what is happening and not happening. But this isn't personal. Whatever is happening isn't personal, just what is happening. And what is happening can't be personal. Even you feel, somebody feel, I got this, isn't personal. And that feeling won't lead anywhere. Because it's already. So if you have any questions that appears, Please ask away. Thank you so much for that beautiful introduction now. It's very clear. Um, I think that's it for today. Thank you so much. We covered everything. I'm just joking. If you have any questions, <laughs> uh, please raise your hand. Um, and you can also uh, chat. Uh, if people on YouTube are watching this, you can also type a question in the chat and then I will ask a question for you. Uh, it's also on Facebook. If you want to join, you can join the link there. And uh, yeah, we're just waiting for some questions. I see one question. Oh, okay. Um, someone raised their hand. No, I see um, Marie. Marie, uh, okay. She wrote to you. All right. If, if you guys want to write a question, you can actually write to me. Um, and I can read it for Naho, but go ahead Naho, I can't see the question, but go ahead and, and, and read it. Oh, um, hi Naho and Masin. Naho, I have lost my job and career as a research, uh, as a re, uh, res, uh, res, research scientist. I don't, I don't see how a new job could appear in the future without me. <laughs> You're the best. Okay, so um, it's happening, all oh, happening without me. So that is the, the me's only belief that um, nothing won't happen without me. Actually, everything's happening without me because there is no me. So there's no advice, but you know, it might happen, but not appear. Nobody knows, there's nobody, but uh, it's all happening without me. Excellent. No, There's, oh, sorry. <laughs> nobody's working. So just uh, that's how it's appearing. Beautiful. I have a couple of questions here. Uh, Katerina asks, what prevents us to feel the same like you feel, that everything is complete and there is no me? Um, it's not like me, but um, just um, as it is. It, it there is nobody can feel that. It's just as it is. 
dilemma is that me wants to feel that. Dilemma is me wants to own that happiness. That is a seeking. Me wants to make it personal. That is a seeking. There is no personal. Thank you. This is from Anuj. The me energy just pops up as a habit. Can you clarify, please? Um, yes, me energy. So uh, what, what was the question? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll repeat it again. The me energy just pops up as uh -huh. a habit. Ah, uh, okay. Can you yeah. clarify, please? Yes. Actually, in a way, yes. In the parlant reality, yes. But, you know, everything is appearing. So, and at the same time, no. So, in a way, appear in the habit is because in the story, me is in time. Me was born, me to die. Me is in a way, it's in time. So me is kind of becomes stronger and stronger in time because that's, that's an, um, when that baby was born, me wasn't there. But then repeated, repeated again, 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 every morning, then it seeming gets, becomes stronger. But um, you know, that also a story. Beautiful. Uh, we have William. William, please go ahead and unmute yourself. Hi, Naho. Hi, William. Naho, I'm listening to the introduction and also the answers you're giving now. And there's so much relief appearing. But at the same time, I absolutely hate every single word because <laughs> it's devastating to the me to hear that this is it. Okay. Yes, I think that uh, that is, uh, you know, just before the talk, just appeared the idea that uh, me hates this. <laughs> me hates this. We, we can't be um, uh, satisfied with this. That's why me is constantly avoiding, avoiding, avoiding what is happening. That's why, you know, it, it, you know, it's so obvious. Me is constantly in the next moment. It means me is keep avoiding, avoiding what is happening. But actually, what is happening is what's been longed for. So uh, it's um, a perfect game. Yeah, because it seems like the me is happy when it has hope that the future is going to work out and give it what it wants. Uh -huh, because me doesn't like what is happening. Me never satisfied. Me doesn't like it. Even even nothing is happening, even just the computer is up, appearing, me doesn't like it. Me prefer <laughs> next moment. <laughs> me prefer next moment. Even just the computer, just the cup, because it feels separate. It doesn't satisfy. And then the problem is as well, yes, yeah, so because, because then when the me's got hope, it feels happy. When there's no hope of the future giving me what I want, and it's just this then it's just like oh god yes and more more disappointed or you know uh, depressed because me needs hope you know me doesn't like what is happening then what what me can only do is to hope me me needs hope if me doesn't have hope depressed just what is happening is depressing for me <laughs> That's crazy. But what me wants is what is happening. That's the story of my life. <laughs> well, I suppose I suppose it's the same for every me, but it's just alternating between hope and then when there's no hope, serious depression. And then suddenly there's hope again and I get really high on the hope, like, yes. It's <sighs> but it's obvious, no? That hope is it's like a changing, constantly change. Yeah. So the me's never going to find something that's going to give it what it really, it's never going to find a resolution to what it's trying to find. Yes, because me is constantly looking for wrong place, wrong place, which is in the future, in the next moment. There is, an in, there is no next moment, but me needs that. That's the thing, that energetic, this isn't understanding. Even me understand, okay, there's no next moment. Okay, this, this, this. That is a seeking, you know, constantly looking at this. It doesn't help because me it doesn't like it. This isn't about me. This isn't me's effort. 
So how do I become liberated? The me wouldn't become liberated, would it, if it had the choice? So you don't think I'll ever get liberated? <laughs> you don't think that I will ever get liberated? <laughs> no, because it's already... <laughs> I, I, where I? So me needs own liberation. That's the wrong idea. There's no wrong, but that is like a missing a point. Missing a point. Me only wants own happiness, own li liberation. That's the wrong idea. There, it doesn't exist. <sighs> Thank you, Naho. <laughs> Thank you, William. I knew that William was going to be the first one to ask a question, um, <laughs> even with, <laughs> with non-duality that line. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it? <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> uh, D asked, how is it possible that a contracted energy chase the next moment? This like what is? Is it like an entity? Thank you. I'm sorry, Emerson, can you repeat? Oh, I repeat, yeah. How is it possible that a contracted energy uh -huh. chase the next moment? Uh -huh. Just like what is? Is uh -huh. it like an entity? Thank you. Yes, yes because me, me, me never satisfied what is happening because, because as soon as separation appears, it, it, me feels separate from what is happening. So whether it's noticed or not, um, agitation or uncomfortableness is constantly appears so that it's not because of what is happening. Actually, because of separation makes me feel, makes me, the me feel um, not quite right. But me is to start looking for somewhere else than separation because me is a separation so we can't find a separation because me is a separation so me has to find an answer in the next moment but there is no answer in the next moment so constantly constantly um has to be failed because there is no answer in the next moment so that's why in this way hopeless hopeless because there is no answer in the next moment <laughs> So uh, that's why it's um it's it's open it's it's simple but at the same time um energetic. Bam, uh, Simon, please go ahead and unmute yourself. And if we can't see you, Simon. Yes, th thank you, thank you so much. You can't see me because it appears I'm driving. Oh, I see. Hi, Simon. Uh, hi, Naho. Hi. So, maybe, maybe, how are you doing? Um, so, I just have one quick question. Uh -huh. It appears I'm driving. I have the hands on my steering wheel. I can see a sky and trees. I put my indicator on. I can hear sounds. I can hear this zoom. What exactly is going on here? <laughs> Nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a whole mystery. Okay. But me wants to know, and me believes me can know. And also me believes that I am seeing, I am hearing. It's my experience. Okay. It's, it's not it's not believing, it feels. So me has to me started to question so many things because me wants to know. To know for me it's to protect itself. Or to survive, the way to survive, to know something. That's why means constant, constantly want to know something. That's why question appears. There is no answer to the question. Okay. Thank you. 
Thank you so much. You, beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Simon. I have a question here from Katerina. So what can we do to change the feeling of our own me? Or can we do anything? So, um, Want me to repeat? I understand. So what? You understand. Okay. Good. <laughs> Thank you. Um, just, uh, just me is the idea that I need to change something to feel better. I need to do. I need is um, uh, constantly happening in me. But uh, to change, uh, to uh, just uh, one word need is uh, there is nothing to need. There is no need. And also, uh, the feeling won't change. But me think I can change the feeling. That uh, that already seeking to change something, to manipulate something is seeking. So me is constantly try to change, try to change, and then coming back to. The idea that uh, the feeling of this isn't enough, but there is only this. So um, this is a dilemma of me. Won't change. What is happening won't change. That meaning me feels, oh, okay, because, but still future, future changes. Because that is apparently changing, constantly appearance is changing. That's why it changes, not because of me did something. Me believes because of I am not controlling, then something wrong is going to appear, but it's, it's not. It's all perfect constantly. There's a question here from Kane. Is there a difference between peace? and unconditional love? Um, uh, yeah, for example, peace is something, unconditional love is everything. Even anger, sadness, everything is it's just it, perfect. But peace is something like uh, me has to keep, or peace is something that has to be like a state. If that is a state, then, you know, won't last long, it keeps changing. This isn't something about um, uh, state. I'll get to you, William, but I have a couple more questions here. Uh, the next one is, Hi, Naho. You say in your book, we humans think we are sharing experience, but nobody ever shared experience. What does that mean from Isa? Yes, um, because there is no... Um, how can I say, me is living in the own reality. Each me has the own reality. It's not really sharing. And actually that is apparently happening, but it's not really happening that way too. But so um, it's not sharing. And me is not existing. So double not sharing. <laughs> Go ahead, William, and unmute yourself. Naho, so you said to me before that the me doesn't like what's happening. Uh -huh. So when the me gets what it wants or it thinks it's getting what it wants, it feels good. When it's not getting what it wants, it feels bad. Uh -huh. And it just constantly alternates between that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Me is constantly moving, either seeking or avoiding. And constantly moving me can't me doesn't like what is happening so um that's the me is reality so what is it like when there isn't anyone left uh -huh. there is what is and there's no seeking there is only this constantly even me believes I am seeking, me feels I am seeking. It's not really happening as me feels, as me think. So constantly, even seeking is happening, constantly this. Seeking but, also is too. <laughs> but me thinks it's seeking and things are going on in time. You're saying it's just always this, appearing always. as... Yes. 
Yes, apparent thing is changing, like apparent movement, like apparent appearance changes. And in that, me seek, me feels it's like a seeking appears, but it's not like an actual thing, like me feels. And when that drops, there's no sense of things are going well or things are going badly. Uh -huh. Always perfect. Always as it is. Even feeling a bad is also perfect. But so, me can't stand that because me is separate from what is happening. And it what was, you're... It's not really separate, but... <laughs> And what you're saying that everything's always perfect, even feeling bad is perfect. Uh -huh. That's impossible to grasp or understand. Yes, because me doesn't like what is happening in, in the first place. And then me doesn't like, me likes and dislikes. Of course, there dislikes and likes and dislikes appears. But um, how can I say, it's just as it is. There is no other thing. There is nothing other than that. In this way, it's perfect. And whatever it's happening can't be any other way. And doesn't need to be. So avoiding something uh, it disappears because it can't avoid. But me wants to avoid. Me, me is scared of what is happening too, because me doesn't know what's going to happen next. Of course, not, of course, it can be. It's not possible to know, but me feels I need to protect myself from something that is happening because it's happening to me constantly. So that um, you know, me has to protect. I'm desperate for what you're talking about, but it's out of my control. It's well, yeah. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> thank you, William. I have a few questions here, Naho. This yeah. one is from Andy. Hello, Naho. As we wake up every morning, is uh -huh. there a cessation of seeking? Um, so um, as soon as me appears, it's a seeking. Me is a seeking. Me feels in something missing or something lost. But um, it's not really, you know, as soon as me wakes up, me doesn't practice or me doesn't, you know, straight away. I don't know, me meditate or it might doesn't feel like it but you know as soon as me appears it feels not quite right even me doesn't feel it so maybe <laughs> this question is from stan last time we were here you said it was the end huh <laughs> <laughs> stan goes last time we were here you said it was the end. It, it was, was the end? End of what? Maybe because of the meeting uh, from Nothing Media. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Yes, yes, yes. That was the end, but it started again. <laughs> it's just uh, happening. Like, um, it's, um, this is a new thing. New, new, um, new channel. Is it? Isn't it? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. A couple more questions here. Um, Abby goes, hello now. Is, is this like everything, everything like life itself is asking questions from a standpoint of a person. So yeah. I do not ask a question and you do not answer. Uh -huh. Yes. yes, yes. So, um, so there is no answer. Even, you know, question appears, answer can appears, but it's not really answer. That's seemingly happening. So how much me get the answer, oh, I got this, isn't it? Or is it too? But uh, it's not, um, how can I say? Um, 
end of seeking doesn't appear because of the answer, what me, answer me got. It's um, everything already. This one is from John. What do you mean or what does it mean with nothing being everything? Oh, as it is, nothing being everything. There's only that. What is the difference between unconditional love and romantic love? <laughs> I feel like I got the same question. Um, uh, uh, romantic love is uh, usually the two two person two people uh, and two people having a relationship and then you know exchanging uh, I don't know it's like a romantic love is a feeling but unconditional love isn't something that can find that can be that can attain it's um. And the unconditional love is unknowing, but it's everything. I think Andy has a question. Andy, did, do you want to unmute yourself if you have a question? Okay, we're going to go to the next question here. There's a next question here. Um, I can't pronounce the name. Um, can you please uh, expand on peace that goes beyond understanding? Peace. Um, it's, um, it's peace. Um, how can I say it's so difficult because I don't know that question peace um what that meaning of peace it's um you know we can say anything like a peace or silence or um um uh, it's not something it's not specific it's uh everything so if you think that and peace is like a silence or peace is like a nothing is happening then it's almost like a state if that is you are saying, then it can lost. It can't be constant. It can't be forever. Apparently, things keep changing. But um, even peace or not peace, it doesn't matter. It's everything. It's um. So me has to find something specific. That is, it's obvious. Keep seeking something. Keep seeking. It has to be this way. It makes me confused and also um, affected by it because keep looking for something else. Keep changing, enemies changing, everything's changing apparently. And, but, uh, at the same time, it's not happening that way too. Um, but um, already everything. Peace is this. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you. Um, I have a I have Harvey and then I have Heidi and then Tommy San. Um, Harvey, please go ahead and unmute yourself. Hi Naha. Hi Harvey. Hi. Um, two questions, maybe. When, when you talk about the me, or when we hear about the me, I know a lot of people immediately think, wow, the me is a terrible thing, and I need to get rid of it. Although there's that paradox that there is really no me that's going to do anything. But I wonder, in a way, is not the me also just what's happening? And so when we talk about the me, the seeking, the it's fear of the future and all that, but in a way, that's what's happening too. Exactly. And, yes, yes. Um, 
So in a way, it's almost like um, there's like a peacefulness with the, the me of seeking mm -hmm. because that's what's there as well. I mean, does that, does that work for you? <laughs> Yes, I, I think me feels that, me feels relief that speaking isn't wrong. Of course it isn't wrong. It's just that um, everything is perfect. But me, by seeking, or I don't know, long time, long time seeker feels, oh, seeking doesn't end. And uh, extra maybe stress or extra heaviness can arise, but it's not. It's just the seeking is appearing. But then um, it's just a, uh, you know, nothing is, um, how can I say, there is no suggestion, but uh, what I can say is that in the seeking, there is nothing, you know, there is nothing in the next moment, just that. It's just there's nothing wrong with seeking, because me is a seeking. Yeah, I, I would just look at nothing appearing as seeking. Um, <laughs> that too. Um, I, I guess my other, my other question is, when Sometimes people talk about, well, what is unreal and what is reality? And uh -huh. from the, pers do you have sort of a sense of how you would answer that question if people say, well, what is reality or what is illusion or is it neither or both? I mean, like um, people sometimes misunderstand this because um, um, what is happening isn't happening at the same time, but doesn't say it's an illusion. It's happening and not happening. What's been uh, that me isn't me is illusion, which isn't happening. So in this way, uh, apparently uh, illusion and then not happening and happening, but then um, everything is simply happening, not happening. Me also. Okay, so when so the the illusion of the me, we'll call it that. But would you say that is happening? The illusion is still happening. The sense of a of, of a me is occurring. So uh, the strange thing is that it's not happening, but to me it's happening. <laughs> it's not happening, but it's not happening. But to me it's happening. That's why gotcha. use words illusion. But what is happening is happening and happening, not happening. <laughs> oh, thank you. I like that answer. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you, Harvey. Thank you, Harvey. Uh, Heidi, please go ahead and unmute yourself. I know. Hi. 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 So great to see you. Um, I, I, I really have um, to laugh about um, because um, every word that comes out now. It's not a word. It's mm -hmm. just what happens. Ah. And and uh, if I try to to find um, what it means, what mm -hmm. I say, so I'm lost. And it's so great that that every one of us tries to catch what's what's spoken. But this is the biggest joke that ever happened. <laughs> because <laughs> because I just say the word because. And this word has no meaning. Uh -huh. Yes. This has no meaning. Word has no meaning. It's it's not graspable. And um, and if this is falling inside, it is the the, the biggest pleasure that can be felt. Uh -huh. That everything has no meaning, no sense. We uh -huh. we, we have we live in a construction thing. Uh -huh. Yes. And we need we need to live in this con constructed thing uh -huh. because we we are so scarce about that this has no meaning. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. That's that's great. And, it, and it's so good to to be online to to listen to you and to feel this is um it's not the truth because also the word the truth mm -hmm. is not real. Uh -huh. yes. It's just what happens. And thank you so much for that. It's so great to share, to share that. Yeah, yeah, great. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's all. Wow. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Heidi. Uh, Tammy, go ahead, please. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi, Tammy. Hi. How are you? <clears throat> Good. Do you hear me? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Uh, mm, yeah, I had. I think I had uh, last month 
was the last time I had to. So, <laughs> I had yes, to. <laughs> you had to. So I thought the, the last time, but nice to see you again. Yes, yes, yes. We'll continue once a month. Yes. Uh, this is a new um, Emerson's channel, so something oh, really? changed. Yes, but uh, actually the same. <laughs> <laughs> very nice, very nice. Uh, mm, I have uh, the everything is happening without me. Yes. And so if I go to if I want to if I feel I want to have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee I want to go to cafe uh, I do cafe I do go to cafe uh -huh. it's everything happening without me exactly yes uh, but me feels I do exactly. I want it to uh -huh. yes. is it a kind of the brain system or something like that um, yes, in the story, yes, but it's just uh, that's how it's appearing too. That's how me that's feel what is happening too. But in the story, in me was me as soon as me was born, me me was known that me has to live on with own effort, own decision, own choices. So me is constantly doing that. And as soon as me appears, me wants to control. What is happening? And the time me was born is after the body was born. It, yes, yes. When that baby was born, me wasn't there. That's interesting, yes. Yeah, I sometimes ask my friends, who doesn't know about non duality or anything about that? Uh, how do you feel when did you when you were born? Uh -huh. Yeah, and uh, no one no one answer anything. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. It wasn't me, and also me is not there in a deep sleep at night. So me is not. Oh. For me, knows only me is there. So me feels. I am somebody, I was born, I am living. Mm -hmm. I hope I have an English ability to explain my feeling <laughs> more and more, but um, I will feel inside of my heart and think, think about it. Yes, so thank you very much. Thank you. Tammy. Bye. Thank you, Tammy. Um, thank you, Masa. Kane, if you... Oh, thank you, Tammy. Tammy-san. Uh, Kane, if you want to ask your question, please go ahead and unmute yourself. I'll just read a question. Uh, now, can you talk about, the, about fear, please? Fear. Okay, fear is another thing is happening. <laughs> it's not wrong. It's just a perfectly appearing, like the same thing as joy, anger, sadness, fear. But to me, I think a certain thing, uh, just a certain uh, feeling for the me, because me is fear to die. So me is living constantly in the survival. So that's why fear appears. And even me doesn't recognize it. It's um, there's a fear because me doesn't want to die. Me feels I am living. So as soon as sense of me, I am living happens, then maybe it's not hundred percent. Maybe there's somebody doesn't feel that way, but usually that some um, fear to die appears. But you know, any fears or any sensation is exactly the same way. Everything is happening. Brilliant. Thank you. There's a question here from John. Is there life after the death of a me? <laughs> <laughs> so this is death. Me doesn't, me is not living. So it's already dead. 
It doesn't exist. So it's great news. Me can't die. <laughs> Me can't die. He's not living. This is already free freedom, constant freedom. But me wants to have their own freedom, personal freedom. That makes more me fearful because me has to hang on to something to survive, but doesn't need to survive. There's nobody. And this one is from Jen. If there is a no, if there's no me, then is it just liberation? Uh huh. It's constantly liberation. Even me feels I am me. It's a liberation. Just me doesn't feel like that. This one is from Kelly. Hi, Naho. Every time that I, I hear you, I feel peacefulness. Usually I have anxiety. So do I have to listen to you permanently to be <laughs> peaceful? <laughs> I don't know if it might happen. Why not? You can listen to, you know, constantly, but uh, this is already. And um, yes, it might happen, might not happen. <laughs> Anita, if you would like to unmute yourself, go ahead. Or would you, yep, Anita, um, or do you want me to read a question, Anita? Um, yeah, I can ask. Um, so there is pain in the body. Uh -huh. And... Um, Yeah, I can say it's apparently there, but it's it hurts. Yeah. Yeah. Can you say something about it? Yes, it's pain is also happening. But to the me, me feels I am this body. That's why um pain is um uh happening to me feels this is my pain but actually there is no me to have that pain there is only pain but just um mm -hmm. to the me it's, um this isn't understanding i know But usually with the pain, me feels this is wrong, shouldn't be happening. It becomes a reality too. So pain becomes maybe stronger. Yeah, you know, a lot of times I'm thinking that it, it has to do with um, something that happened in the past. Mm. Because I had the pain after that um experience ah, so you feel you feel because of uh, you did something wrong um yeah <laughs> um I, I didn't something wrong uh, i i i couldn't do anything about it i know uh -huh. i'm innocent i know that but it uh -huh. um, Oh, I understand that. That's that's because of that something happened in the past. That's why you're suffering now. Uh, yes, I st yeah, I still think it has to yeah. <laughs> oh. Yes, um, when me feels um pain or you know it's usually it's not only pain. It just has some story around it can makes me feel um, suffers too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. 
but there is only what is happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there, there is something in me that, that wants to get rid of, of the pain. That, mm -hmm. yeah. Because I have a now since um, 20 years. Uh -huh. I don't feel it always, but... Uh, I know it, it's a field of, of more like energy playing with <laughs> Yeah, sometimes I want to get rid of this, this pain. Mm. Yes, that is happening. That also is happening. Yeah. And there is only what is happening. There is only apparent pains happening. But me believes that it's coming from the past. Yeah. It's coming from the 20 years. So you can then you can also say there is no cause for for pain. Actually, there is nothing, there is no cause and effect. It's just happening. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Amazon. Thank you, Anita. Andy, please go ahead and unmute yourself. Hello, Naho. Hi, Andy. Hi. Um, I, I just want to say that to you and Emerson, thank you so much for running these. Um, you know, generosity is fantastic and really appreciate being able to ask questions. So thank you. Um, so I'd like to ask or talk about and share a kind of general feeling of dissociation here. Mm -hmm. um, and it's not something I'm doing um thinking arises and and i can i, I suppose I, I there's something saying that's the me talking you kind of ignore that so thinking happens um but there is a sense as i say of it being of there being some sort of observance of that but not by anyone it's just okay it's happening um at least I can't detect, I don't try to analyze it. So it just sort of flows by. Um, there's also a sense that it really doesn't matter if something that I think I want doesn't actually happen mm -hmm. or I don't get it. Mm -hmm. For instance, now I wasn't expecting to be able to answer or ask a question and that would have been just fine. Mm -hmm. um, I feel a bit dead. There's a feeling of being a bit, everything being a bit, you know. Um, and, but sometimes when I'm out for a walk or something, there's, or, or I'm just looking out of my window, there is something that calls out to me um, in what you, we describe as the appearance. Mm -hmm. um, it could be anything. It just could be a couple of seagulls circling around in the sky against a blue sky, or it could be a tree and the way it's, it's waving in the wind. Um, so I just wanted to share that and ask if you had any, yes. does that okay. ring any bells with you? At all? Um, you know, it's so many ways of me, me is very clever and me try to find the answer in many ways. And, you know, if you was just observing, that is again, like um, seeking, 
And if you feel like a heaviness, it's just the feeling that, and it's coming from like, um, you know, um, you know, it's um, seriousness and seeking. It's like a heaviness because still looking for something. It's coming from the seeking. And this isn't something about me can do something. Me is very clever. And me pretend me is not doing anything. But actually, me is still um, uh, looking for something. Of course, me is seeking. So me does everything to find something. But this isn't something like that. This is already nothing to be found. Me doesn't need to find. It's already. So, um, um, you know, it's just some me feels um, like um, it's not active seeking, then it's like uh, feels more peaceful or it, it like a detachment is happening, then it's not so affected by what is happening, then feels better. But actually, if that's, um, it's not something like, um, like that, it's not state. Yes, there's no sense of, um yeah bliss or or any 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 relief or or lack of constant of uh -huh. concentra you know concert contracted energy i don't sense any of any of that uh -huh. um so it's not a particularly nice feeling or it's not it's not a it's not something that i would actively seek and yeah i do take your point that you know it's the me is very incredibly clever how it <laughs> does um how it uses me how memory seems to play a part in in in, in a it, it's like a scammer you know or or an imposter it tells you things that aren't necessarily completely true but I don't want to go off on that tangent I, I just wanted to find out whether this sense of um, dissociation you're saying this this is pretty much definitely the me just saying okay you know i'm not here <laughs> and, and and nothing's yes. mine yes but it's, exactly. it's all just a play exactly exactly me it's so clever me does that mm. and then me feels in a way me feels better than before so it's like a me to find a new way but actually it's mm. a same seeking okay great thank you thank you andy Thank you so much, Andy. Um, we have one minute left. Time goes so fast when there's no time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, well, thank you so much, Naho. Thank We're you. going to... Uh, Everybody, please unmute yourself and say bye to now. Also, at the end of this meeting, there's a breakout room because a lot of people are asking for it. Um, if you want to stay, you can stay. If not, now is also going to be doing a virtual retreat soon. We'll announce the date soon. And uh, and next month, Naho will be back to nandawali.live. If, if you guys want to check out Naho, you can go to nahowada.com. She's events. You can also go to nandawali.live. Um, and... Say, say bye now. Bye now. Bye now. Bye now. Bye now. Uh, thank you very much. Bye now. 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 Bye now.